Hey guys, be sure to press like and subscribe. Today I want to talk a little bit about renting cars with a driver for on the cheap. Okay, when you come over here, a lot of guys, once they settle into an area, you get to know a lot of people. In the provinces, you might have issues with this, but you probably won't. You'll probably be able to run into somebody that has a vehicle that can drive you into town or what have you, and it's a lot cheaper than saying buying your own vehicle or whatever, and then paying for the upkeep, the insurance, and all that. So it's good to know, get to know people in your area that can drive you around. If you want to go on vacation, sometimes you can even take the person with you or whatever if you get to know them. They'll either sleep in the vehicle or you can get them a room or whatever. Sometimes you can get a, a cheap room nearby or whatever, you know, or just put them up. It's, it's not, a, not really that big of a deal, you know, um, and you'll still end up saving over the long term because, you know, most people only go on vacation once or twice a year. And even though we're in the Philippines, guess what? We still go on vacation. But I want to put that out there, guys, that you can hire a guy here. I paid roughly about 100 US or 5,000 pesos to be driven around all day from like 5.30 in the morning till whatever time at night, you know, and it was about $100 for the driver, his food and everything. And we got a van. So we could lug around 12 people in that van, go to the beach, go wherever we want during that day, and that's what it costs. Now, that can vary. It can vary because if you're traveling for a long distance and you're traveling for five hours there and five hours back, it's gonna cost you more, you know, because you have a lot more gas and stuff like that. We only traveled for a few hours there, a few hours back, it wasn't a big deal, okay, because the vehicle was pretty decent on gas and stuff like that. But, you know, I wanna throw that out there about this because also, if you're hiring a car, it's much cheaper, okay? And I tell people, you know, if you're just going to like a doctor's appointment or something like that, hire a car, it's a lot cheaper. You don't need the van. Some people like the comfort of a van. It's nice to have the van. And, you know, maybe when you're traveling, let's say, let's say you're going to the, the Veterans Administration cl Clinic up in Manila and you want to make a day of it, you want to go to MOA or something like that, it might be worth it to hire a van. It's much more comfortable. You know, a vehicle, the vehicle that you hire might not have AC. Try to make sure you have AC in your vehicles, guys, that you hire. Ask them because that makes all the difference in the ride, guys. You know, it's substantial. And, you know, some places you have the availability of buses, too. Us, we're lucky. Right up the street here, I can hop on a bus, go all the way to Manila and, you know, be in AC all the way there. Now, during COVID times, it's a nice ride because it's kind of, it's not too... Um, compact in there because they, they some buses went during the non-COVID times they were putting way too many passengers on the bus way too many and, and it was almost like three people in a two-person seat pushing you over and there's people in the you couldn't even get off the bus when you wanted to sometimes because they would bypass your thing even though you had to get off of the thing because it would take you 15 minutes to get up to the front of the bus because they were putting way too many people on the bus and that's why sometimes hiring a car is the best way to go. Hiring a van, best way to go. Um, buses, are they cheap? Yeah, they're real cheap. And, but you get what you pay for sometimes. But right now during the COVID times, we're getting a little bit of relief because we're not being compacted into those buses. And that's, that's the good part about being in COVID times, I guess. I guess there is, there is, there is something good about all this, guys. But you know, ultimately, no, there isn't. <laughs> But that, that is one of the good things. Anyway, guys, I want to throw that out there it's just because people have been asking me about renting vehicles here. Renting vehicles, always rent it with the driver. And if he gets in an accident, he's held, to, held accountable and not you. Okay? And make sure you talk to the, um, the people that you rent off that, and you tell them that that, you know, that is agreed upon and you got to witness or put it in writing before you, you rent the vehicle that if they get in an accident, that they are accountable, not you. Okay, because you don't want to get stuck with a bill if somebody hits somebody, they get in a bad accident, something like that. You don't need that bill and you don't want that bill. And that's the good thing about having somebody drive you around is that if you get in an accident, they're accountable, not you. Remember that, guys, because when you're driving your own car or buying your own car, you're accountable. Okay, but anyway, guys, God bless. Take care. I hope that helps, guys.